Welcome to our channel. Let's discuss neurological Lyme symptoms and why they happen. One of the most common things you'll discover with Lyme disease, in general, is that every patient experiences different symptoms. That's one of many reasons it can be difficult to get an accurate diagnosis. This variety of symptoms can present their own challenges for your treatment and quality of life. Here we'll discuss some of the more common neurological symptoms you can expect, and those you may not anticipate. First, what is neurological Lyme? When you go undiagnosed for an extended amount of time, weeks or longer, that gives the bacteria sufficient time to invade the central nervous system. The central nervous system involves your brain and spine. It is through the nervous system that we communicate with the outside world, and at the same time, many mechanisms inside our body are controlled. The nervous system takes in information through our senses, processes the information and triggers reactions, such as making your muscles move or causing you to feel pain. Disorders of the nervous system have been found in 15 to 40% of late-stage Lyme patients. When Lyme disease affects the brain, it is referred to as Lyme neuroborreliosis, or Lyme encephalopathy. Some common symptoms to expect with neurological Lyme are bells or facial palsy, hyperactivity, headache, nerve pain, attention and focus issues, obsession or compulsion, brain fog, cognitive issues, sleep issues, memory loss, sensory issues, that is, light, sound, touch sensitivity. Please note this is not a complete list. So in addition to the above symptoms, recent studies have investigated possible connections between Lyme disease and a host of mental health issues, including developmental disorders, schizoaffective disorder, bipolar disorder, depression, anxiety, eating disorders, sleep disorders, cognitive impairments, dementia, seizures, and suicide. It is important to remember that emotional and or cognitive disorders can be the only symptoms of Lyme disease or in conjunction with other symptoms. If you are experiencing these symptoms, it's essential to have a treatment method that is addressing the bacteria at the nervous system level and helping address these symptoms. Frequently, detox methods will need to be utilized as well to help remove bacteria and toxins from the nervous system. There are many great products on the market that can help with these symptoms of neurological Lyme disease. If you are experiencing any of these or other symptoms, please talk with your primary care, mental health or Lyme literate doctors to discuss the best way to manage and treat your symptoms. Also visit www.limewarrior.ux to learn more about treatment methods and detox so you can address neurological Lyme issues and get back to living. The link to the website is included in the description box below. If you found this information helpful, please consider giving us a like and subscribing to our channel. And if you're interested in more informative content like this, be sure to check out our other videos. Thank you.